Welcome everybody to a look at the latest Warner Brothers Archive Collection release and it is 1979's The Frisco Kid. So this is directed by Robert Aldrich who I've seen nine other films from. Favourites from him being the likes of Kiss Me Deadly, Hush Hush Sweet Charlotte and Twilight's Last Gleaming. So this is a western comedy clocking in at 119 minutes long. Stars Gene Wilder who I've seen in five other films. Favourites from him being Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory and Young Frankenstein, as well as Harrison Ford, who I've seen in at least 27 films. Favourites from him being the likes of Blade Runner 2049, Indiana Jones on the Last Crusade, The Fugitive, Witness, and Clear and Present Danger. So this is about Rabbi Avram, who uh, arrives in Philadelphia from Poland en route to San Francisco, where he will be a congregation's new rabbi. An innocent and inexperienced traveller, he is tricked by con men, to uh, pay for the trip to go west then they leave him and his belongings scattered along a deserted road he is befriended by a stranger called tommy who is a bank robber and they have many adventures together during their journey across america so even though this comedic the comedic element to this takes a little longer than i would like to kick in it is however when it does that this becomes properly funny uh to it but uh, to the plot in general that it becomes properly funny um but frankly there is more to this than just laughs as the uh, two leads which you know if they didn't work together uh, then the laughs would only be sporadic but thankfully the two leads are great together the score is really rather good the paint the pacing is on point it is predominantly engrossing the supporting cast is decent and the locales are not only beautiful, but also really rather nicely uh, shot in terms of the cinematography. But yeah, uh, the production is also good. And uh, yeah, on the whole, it is an uh, enjoyable effort. It's just, it does have a couple of moments where it slows down a little bit uh, to the point where I just don't feel like it needs to. And you could perhaps argue that it's a little on the lengthy side at nearly two hours. But still, yeah, a really, really good effort. And another uh, solid one from the Warner Brothers Archive Collection. To be honest, uh, not my favourite out of the uh, collection that they have done so far. But yeah, considering the numerous amount of films that they've done, it's uh, yeah, far from the worst. And uh, yeah, I could definitely uh, think of worse Western comedies uh, to put out there. Although, you know, obviously it's limited in terms of their collection. So um, yeah, no printed disc or anything like that with these. As per usual, they are just a basic Blu-ray with you know basic extras and uh, yeah in terms of extras on the disc we only have the uh, original theatrical trailer so yeah not much thought being put into the film itself in terms of the physical release but plenty of thought put into the film itself when it was made and yeah it's just a shame that it wasn't a particular box office hit it cost about nine million to make and made barely nine million at the box office in the us at least so um yeah, probably wasn't a hit, which uh, Gene Wilder was clearly not entirely used to, given, you know, he's had several hits earlier in the decade. But yeah, it's, it's kind of a lukewarm start to Harrison Ford's career, but obviously it wouldn't take very much, uh, for very long at all for his career to, you know, just skyrocket. So um, yeah, overall an enjoyable effort, well worth watching if you haven't seen it before. But if you have seen it and you did enjoy it, then this Blu-ray is perfectly good. The transfer looks nice enough and there's no real issues with the sound or anything. And yeah, it's just a uh, really rather decent film to have in my collection because I don't have many comedy films at the end of the day, certainly very few Western comedies. So um, yeah, but nonetheless, thank you for watching. If you have seen this film before, I'd like to hear your thoughts on it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.